Well, colleagues, let's do unpacking of industrial RX with Omni. So when you get, you get there the package, uh, and the package contains, let's see. Okay, there is industrial RX as itself. There is a full-size antenna. There is a four-pin connector to provide the power supply, and there is a seven-pin connector uh, to interface the data. What data? Uh, two pins for UART, two pins for RS-485, two pins for USB, and one pin for power. Okay, that would be eight, but since it's only a seven-pin connector, so for UART there's only streaming out and there's no reception, so we don't care whether you receive or not, we stream out the location data and we hope you grab the data. Oh, by the way, there are two magnets. So what are these magnets for? The magnets, uh, since this is industrial, it's pretty closed and uh, you know well ingress protected. But inside there is a reset, so it means that you can reset uh, the device using magnet, and you can put the G full into the G full mode using another magnet. So it means that, for example, if you say, okay, uh, let's do the G full programming, if you need because normally it's already done, only in case everything is crashed and it's, you know, you want to really upload the lowest, lowest low level software and the regular connectivity through the seven pin and USB doesn't work anymore, then you do reset, you do the full, and you will see in the, your dashboard, it's uh, not in the dashboard, but in the DFU programmer, diffuser, you will see it appears, then you upload the DFU software, then you remove the magnet, you remove the magnet, you put the reset once again, and then you check in the dashboard, everything is DFU programmed. But again, you use it only in case everything goes wrong. For example, you know, you just upload some wrong software or something, something. Normally you just connect using USB cable, remember, uh, with this, you do not get by default a uh, seven pin to USB. So it means that if you want connectivity, then you either order the cable separately. The cable is uh, like this, plus USB, or you create this cable by yourself, basically grabbing the USB cable, cut it, solder, connect. So you can do this as well. Um, and then you use it. Uh, what's the peculiarity of this industrial RX compared to, let's say, other RX? Oh, okay, obviously it's Omni Microphone. Omni Microphone, as you know, comes from the name, contains four microphones, one, two, three, four, which create 360 horizontal and 360 vertical uh, reception diagram. So this is why this is particularly useful for applications like forklift tracking. Why? No, because this is typically installed somewhere on the roof, you know, there are holes, and uh, this is flexible. Yeah, because everything warehouse related, you know, people crash, people, you know, and it's bendable. If it's bendable, so it's not so easily de uh, destroyable. For the power supply, we provide you the four pin connector. You can use it, basically solder, you can open their operating manual, and out of these four pins, uh, one is the power supply, 5 volt power supply. Remember that all uh, our industrial beacons starting from 2022 are 5 volts. Previously we used to have 12 volts, but it turned out to be not as, as beneficial. 5 volts. So 5 volts power supply, ground, and in case the magnets are lost or you don't want to use them or you want to reset it remotely, so there's a pin for reset and there's a pin for defo. So it means that everything is redundant. You can do the reset in defo using magnets or you can do the same using uh, pins on this. Additionally, if you wish, you can uh, supply using, for example, DC-DC converter. DC-DC converter we can highly recommend. It has open wire, so you connect this open wires to your electricity grid on your forklift, for example, and then, then this is directly 
connected and providing 5 volts, so highly recommended. We have similar AC-DC, so this is DC-DC, oh sorry, this is AC-DC, okay great, so this is AC-DC, but we have similar DC-DC, simply that has even longer cable, like 4 meters or something cable, so it means that you can directly connect to your forklift, so this is AC-DC. But they look very similar uh, and the connectivity of course is the same. By the way, all our connectors are absolutely the same with industrial beacons, with industrial RX, with Omni, with industrial super beacon, and for example with their modem. Modem, the same shape, the same connectivity, but of course inside is a completely different thing. So uh, about the modem we will talk about the next video, but now back to the industrial RX. So what are their greatest benefits? Now obviously it's industrial. So it means that it's easy to connect, it's very, very rigid, it has a connectivity which is well ingress protected. What is well ingress protected? Well, uh, previously we even put some compound inside, so it means that this uh, uh, device wouldn't be even repairable. And it could go up to uh, explosion protected, so there, there was no air uh, inside. But it turned out to be not as uh, beneficial for the customer. Some of them wanted to repair, some of them wanted to connect, disconnect, etc., etc., etc. So now we do not fill it in. So ingress protection slightly decreased. But still, it has a very tight connection here. It has very tight connection here. Of course, this is also very tight connected. So it means that it's, it's really industrial grade type of thing. Um, but it doesn't mean, for example, that you can put this un uh, under the water. No, no, it's not designed for that. It's a typical industrial application, so it meant that, uh, you know, moisture, dust, rain uh, doesn't disturb the work. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you expose it for a year to the rain, it will still survive. Not necessarily. Um, what and how you use it? Okay, first of all, of course, you do connect the full-size antenna. The full-size antenna is bendable, which is a great benefit. Why? Because, uh, for example, if you have a wall, if you connect like this, it will not uh, be, be a good solution because the antenna will be too close to the wall and it will not work well. We have a special article about how to handle the radio issues and in general radio. For example, if you have a modern antenna, modern antenna like this, and a beacon antenna like this, it's not a good option either. Why? No, because it's a cross polarization that they will not receive well. But at the same time, if you put this antenna next to the wall, it will not be a good idea either because the radio uh, properties of the antenna will be hugely, you know, distracted by the wall. So what's the option? Okay, there is a compromise, something like this. So it's still good enough for this and it's still, and it's already far enough from this. So, but it must be bendable. So antenna is bendable. Another I already mentioned, so people heating the antenna, so at least this antenna has high chances to survive than, for example, a very strong, very rigid, non-flexible antenna. So that's, that's intentional. About the connectors, oh, okay, we can see the connectors, I already mentioned, so it's easy to connect. There's a key, so there's a key. So it's very, very easy to connect. But again, back to this. So this is the key. So th this is the key because you can put this on, on top of your forklift and you can hide it somewhere where it's more convenient. Or you can still put it on the roof of your uh, forklift, for example. But people are using it not only for forklifts, but for many, many other applications because it's basically easy. For example, we just recommend it for sport activity as well. Why? Because it's very easy to uh, connect this onto the saddle. It's relatively light because again, we don't pour now their compound inside, so it's relatively light and it's very easy to connect. So you don't need to solder and it's basically rigid, industrial. So um, we recommend it, first of all, for forklifts, second, for all kinds of sports applications, uh, for all kinds of uh, boat applications where relatively uh, high level of ingress protection is required, where easy connectivity is required, and uh, where the Omni microphone is required. It's a typical Omni microphone with the connector there, so you can basically disassemble it, disconnect it, and use it, for example, with your super beacon, because the connector is there, so it's disconnectable, it's not solderable. But it's uh, prepared for you, so it means that you can use it right away out of the box and recommend it for all kind of industrial applications, mainly forklifts. 
If you have any questions, as usual, please send us a mail to info at and we will be happy to answer them. Thank you very much.